Hello all, this is Dylan of the Kaiju Vault bringing you all things Tokusatsu once again. I have an important announcement to make. I've... Well, obviously, as you guys can tell, I haven't made as many videos lately. That's because a mixture of things between school, my job, and I've been working on another side project that uh, if you guys could check it out, I would appreciate it. I'm working on a gaming channel. I figured that there's really no place for video games on Kaiju Vault. Because, I mean, let's be honest, it has nothing to do with Godzilla or Tokusatsu in general. So, I'm going to leave a link in the description for, um, for my uh, gaming channel. And I'm just going to stop making gaming videos on uh, Kaiju Vault altogether. That being said, I'm going to make a video now about my top 10 favorite Godzilla designs. On top of that, to make it up to you guys, I'm going to also make a video every day of the week this week for Kaiju Vault. Because you know what? It, it's long overdue. I I just, I've been ignoring it. I, I can't do that. I just, I can't bring myself to ignore this channel anymore. I, I love this channel. But anyways, back to the list. Now, there have been many Godzilla suits over the years, and he constantly update, he gets updated with every, well, almost every new movie. And, uh, I mean, I love them all, let's, I mean, besides uh, 1998, we, we don't talk about 1998, but anyway, I, I love them all, but I do have, obviously, a top 10 favorite, so let's get started. Coming in at number 10 is definitely Godzilla from Godzilla 2000, the Meyer Goji suit, I think that's what it's called. Now, I know this one is, like, considered a fan favorite, but the reason it's number 10 on my list is, I feel it just, it, it, it shows... It, it looks a lot... It's obviously Godzilla, but it's just... It's kind of got, like, the the Zilla thing going on with me, where it looks really different, but the difference being you can at least tell this one is Godzilla. But my favorite thing about this one is the spikes. Without a doubt, the spikes are my favorite part of this Godzilla suit. Another problem I kind of have with this one is I don't like the way the head and the face looks. I mean, it looks... Obviously, it looks more like a dinosaur, and... I love dinosaurs, so, I mean, I guess it, it gets a pass for that, but it's it's definitely not my favorite suit, I can say that much. Although, again, I will say, considering that it came out, uh, like, a year after 1998 Zilla did, I have to give this suit some credit because it gave us Godzilla back. Coming in at number 9 is the final Goji suit from Godzilla Final Wars. I like how this one looks like, kind of like a mixture of all the Godzilla suits. The only thing I don't like about this suit is the way that the head kind of like, looks like it caves in on itself. But otherwise, I believe this is a pretty solid suit, and that's why it's in my top 10. Also, he, he, he killed uh, Zilla, so I mean, he gets credit for that. That being said, Final Wars is not one of my favorite Godzilla movies. I did enjoy it, but if it was a better movie, I can probably like the suit more. Coming in at number 8 is King Goji from Godzilla vs. King Kong. Or was it? No, it was King Kong vs. Godzilla. My bad. Anyways, once again, the head is what bothers me on this suit. He just looks pretty stupid. Like, his head? His face, rather. It looks kind of stupid. But then again, he's supposed... Not, not like stupid as in it's not a good suit. Stupid as in he looks legitimately unintelligent. Although, I suppose, if you watch the movie, you know Godzilla is not supposed to be smart in that one. That being said, God... King Kong, excuse me, King Kong vs. Godzilla is one of my favorite Godzilla movies, so I had to put it in here. At number 7 is 84 Goji, which is the one from Godzilla Returns. Now, not to spoil my, uh, it, what's in my top 5, but the Heisei era of Godzilla happens to be, overall, my favorite suits. That being said, I think out of all the Heisei ones, this is the worst one. Only because of the eyes. Everything else I think is great on this one, but the eyes look a little weird. And there are some scenes in the movie where he just looks flat out derpy. But, I mean, you know... 84 Godzilla is... You know, Godzilla Returns is, without a doubt, my least watched Godzilla movie. And that's not because I don't like it. That's because I couldn't get a DVD copy of it for the... the actually, until relatively recently, like, like a month or two ago. And... I just never, I, I guess I didn't get attached to it, because I didn't, I didn't really watch it as much as the other ones. But I still do really like this suit. 
At number six in my list, I know this is going to be a little controversial because everyone loves this movie, but it's Masu Goji from Godzilla vs. Mothra. Or was it Mothra vs. God? Uh, whatever. Not the point. The point is, I know everybody that's considered one of the best Godzilla movies of all time, but I'm going to be... I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really enjoy it. Well, I enjoyed it, but it was not nearly one of my favorite Godzilla movies. But that being said, I do really enjoy this design. I think it's a great mixture of, like, badass and derpy, unlike the 84 one, which is mostly derpy, but you get the point. Alright, we're in the top five now. At number five on my list is Megaro Goji that first appeared in Godzilla vs. Megalon. And I just like this suit because I feel that this is the suit when Godzilla started doing all the batshit crazy things that he did, like the epic drop kick, or I I believe this is the suit that he used, that he was flying in. But for all you who don't know, yes, Godzilla has flown before, and it is about as awesome as you think it is. Another reason I love this suit so much is, if I'm not mistaken, it was in the most Godzilla movies so far. And on top of that, it was in one of my top five favorite Godzilla movies, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, the Showa era one. So that's why I love this suit. Coming in at number four is the Soko Geki suit from GMK. I'm not even going to bother to say the whole thing. But um, yeah, this suit just with, with the, the pupilless eyes that are just white, it just, this suit looks downright evil. And GMK happens to also be one of my favorite Godzilla movies of all time. And I, I don't know, this he may not have been the most powerful Godzilla, but I feel like uh, GMK Godzilla, he gave off the feeling that he was one of the most powerful. I, I mean, I could be wrong, he might be one of the most powerful. But as I said, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I thought it was an amazing like change on, uh, on what Godzilla is, and yeah, that's another one of the reasons I love this suit. Alright, coming in at number three, and I know you all are going to hate me for this, that it's even in this list, but it's the Godzilla design from the legendary movies Godzilla. Now the reason I love this one is, it was before this one, it was so long before we got uh, another Godzilla design, and I think that this Godzilla perfectly captures the fact that this thing is, he's a, he's, at the core, this one is an animal, not like a, not like a, I would say a monster, because he's not indiscriminately killing uh, people. But this one is like an animal, and I think, in terms of a uh, animalistic look, this one looks the best. All right, coming in at number two is, I guess you could say, another controversial one. It's Burning Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Now, bear with me, guys. The reason this one is my second favorite suit is because this is, without a doubt. Uh, well, it's in my top three favorite Godzilla movies. I love Godzilla vs. Destroyer. I love the Heisei era. I know a lot of people just think it's beam battles, which I guess is true, but you gotta keep in mind, guys, when I first figured out about Godzilla, it was in the Heisei era, and this was the strongest version of Godzilla in that era. Although I think overall Final Goji is stronger, but I guess that's not the point really, huh? Anyways, guys, that's why Burning Godzilla is number two on my list. Alright, everybody, my number one favorite Godzilla movie design, or I should probably say designs since it's a tiebreaker, is definitely Shin Goji from Shin Gojira, and of course, I can't leave him out, the Godzilla suit from the first Godzilla movie. Now let's start off with, uh, with Shin Gojira. The reason I love this suit so much is because it it looks like if something was to survive close to a nuclear explosion, well, I guess you can't really survive that, but if for whatever reason you could survive that, I feel like Shin Gojira is exactly what it would look like if, I guess, a dinosaur survived it. I mean, he looks, he looks like a friggin' zombie, and I just, I love, you know, I love the movie. I know a lot of people say that the arms are gimpy and... He's not really a probably he probably wouldn't be a good fighter. And you know what? I have to agree, he would probably be a really horrible fighter if he was to fight someone like Ghidorah or Destroya or hell even Megalon, but I I just love the suit and I think it was a amazing redesign of the uh, of every Godzilla suit made. And then of course, there's Shodai Goji, which 
guys, if not for this suit, it may... I mean, I guess design-wise it's not really that great, but the reason this suit has to be number one is because without this suit, we wouldn't have gotten any of the other Godzilla designs we've ever gotten. Not even 1998 or 2014, we would have gotten no suits. There would be no Godzilla. So I have to thank this suit, the fact it exists has been a blessing on my life. Alright everybody, that was my top 10 list of my favorite Godzilla designs. Let me know what your favorite designs are in the comment section below. Also, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe, like the video, comment, whatever you see fit. Remember all to keep on... ...ing, and to have a great day. This is Dylan of the Kaiju Vault, signing out.